Here we are, back at it again. Another whiskey. We're going to taste it and see what we think. It's Patagonia time. Patagonia time, that's right. Uh, so today we are going to be reviewing the Matchstick Straight Bourbon Whiskey. 45% ABV, 90 proof. Uh... Did I say McClintock? No. So this is from McClintock uh, Distillery out of Frederick, Maryland. Good stuff. Uh, we've had a barrel proof of this, which was fantastic. So we're going to see what the just the standard one has to offer. And we're going to change up the format a little bit. So we're going to do a, we're going to do a little bit of a neat pour and tasting, and then we're going to also do it in the Manhattan. So we're going to kind of blend our. Uh, it's the Neat One series and Will It Manhattan series <clears throat> all into one video. If Todd can open the bottle. Todd doesn't have enough fingernails. Otherwise. And this is one of those rare occasions where you guys actually get to see us crack a bottle open. So. Yeah, it doesn't happen frequently. All right, here. It could be an episode in itself. Could be. <laughs> Boy. Tries to break that cork off there. That's got a good smell to it. What's, what's it smell like? Chicken. Chicken? All right. God, why don't you make a mess? More of a mess next time. All right. Housekeeping. Why not? All right. Does it tell us anything? I don't think so. <clears throat> Just tell us about tells us about Matchstick. Uh, the patented Matchstick making machine was produced in the hometown of Frederick, literally lighting up the world. Yeah, I don't know. They don't tell you anything, so. That's an interesting tidbit. It is an interesting tidbit. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. It was right up the street. Yep. All right. Let's check it out. Yeah, so we spent a weekend, and not you and I, but. Yeah, a I was going to say, was I there for the weekend? A weekend together. I don't remember. Uh, Frederick, and we stopped by and visited this distillery. It's really nice down there. That's good. It's light. I'll say I did. A little bit of caramel. I'll say, yeah, I did have this in a Manhattan at the distillery. But you it's can't, real light. It's almost like hay or something. It's weird. It's well, it's not it's necessarily weird, but it's different. It's definitely grainy. Yeah, all right. The color's nice. It's yeah. real light. <clears throat> it's real light. Yeah, this is another one. I don't nice know how it's, how it's been sitting here for months and we haven't even touched it, but glad we, we haven't. Yeah. Ooh. Wow, that's that's really good. That is interesting. It's very sweet. Again, like hay. I just get you can taste the grain big time. You can taste the grain. I lose all the caramel on the on the palate. Mm -hmm. I get caramel on the nose. I don't get it on the palate so much. I almost get like <clears throat> like green apple. I was gonna say something like in between apple and buttery. To me, it tastes a little buttery, <coughs> in a good way. Butter dipped apple is yes. that even a thing? No, I get I get a whole lot of green apple out of the flavor. It's good. Which on a whiskey right. is a good thing. Well, let's uh, bunghole it. Oh, eight. I'm getting a little higher. Okay, where are you? Eight five. I enjoy this. This is this is a good one. Neat. I do too, but it's a neck pour. I mean, really, I don't know. It's not the oh, eight five. It is okay. You're a good twist, Marm. That's fine. All right. Now on to the Manhattan. Seamless. This time. Seamless. <laughs> back we're gonna do a little pour on and a couple cherries 
One. Bada bing, baby. Bada bing, bada boom. Two. Okay. That's a big one. Take the small one. Okay. I did see you had bitters, right? Yep, sure okay. did. All right. I was over there being a sous chef or something. Sous chef. Yeah. Smells, smells like a Manhattan. Smells good. Okay. Check it out. One sip. Nobody knows he's fools. Facts. Oh, this is good. Ah. Ah. Underwhelming. Really? Yeah. I taste a lot of vermouth. Mm. <clears throat> it's fine. Way better neat. It just doesn't have it doesn't have the substance to hold up to the vermouth. Um, in my opinion. <clears throat> Yeah, you know, we haven't had a whole lot of 90 proofers that have, have done great. Uh, this, to me, is not quite as good as a Buffalo Trace. Yeah, and we didn't rate the Buffalo Trace really all that high. For what it was, we did, but, you know, correct a, a budget bourbon. Yeah. And this is not a budget bourbon, by the way. This is about a $60 bottle. Which is crazy. But it's good neat. Drink this neat. Don't drink it in a, in a Manhattan. Might be good in an old fashioned. Yeah. Uh, in a Manhattan, just the, the, the vermouth just overpowers it. Well, I don't know that I agree with that. I uh, I mean, it's it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's not my. No, it's definitely it's definitely not in the nines. Uh, at, I don't even think it's in the eights. Yeah, at, at the best. Personally. Best it's an eight. So, I went up above where I thought it was neat. Okay. I have this oh, as a negotiation. I have this as a seven five. Okay. In a Manhattan. I'm good with that. I mean, this is it, it's a good Manhattan. <laughs> I would order this at a bar, but it's not. Listen, seven five is above average. Yeah, it's way above you know? average in this case. So it's not it's not a terrible right. cocktail, but it's just not. It's not great. Right. It's not. It's not. There's nothing fancy about it. There's nothing yeah. unique about it. It's just very. You order this, and you're like. It's a Manhattan. Yeah, there's, there's nothing remarkable something on the, the back end of it that I really like, though. Yeah. I don't know what that but is. I'm good with a 7.5, though. All right. Well, there you have it. McClintock. Uh, matchstick straight bourbon whiskey. 8.5 uh, neat. 7.5 and a Manhattan. Right. Uh, if you guys have an opportunity to pick it up, it is a good whiskey. Drink it neat. And uh, let us know what you guys think. And if you want an above average Manhattan, you can still buy it. Yep. It's still a good value. Yeah. So, that's it for us. Links in the description, Patreon. Is that it? I think. I don't know. Yeah. Look down below. Yes. All right. Peace. Bye.